Isn't it amazing how people willingly and frequently expose themselves to toxins all day, every day? This carries a heavy cost, and this is the price for living in an artificial society, a synthetic world. And our bodies are being extremely overworked by constantly having to cleanse these toxins out, only for us to keep putting them back in. Now it doesn't really matter what diet you have, even if you are a raw foodist that eats all 100% organically grown food, most soils around the world are contaminated to some degree, and it's very difficult to get your hands on food that is not loaded with heavy metals. So, if you do truly want to live a healthier existence, you're going to have to get those toxins out. You're going to have to do some things mentally to get through what you have to do physically, which is a complete, full body and mind detox. Now I want to give you as much information as possible on this subject, so I am going to have to do this in a series of separate videos. So here, I want to focus on the first cleanse, and probably the most vital and that is the cleansing of the colon. You want to get healthy, folks? This is where it starts. Now this might sound funny, but it's not a joke. The majority of people you see walking around today are constipated. Let me explain. When you eat food, it goes into your mouth, you chew it, the saliva begins to break down the food, and you actually begin to absorb some of the nutrients as you chew. It forms a bolus, and then you swallow it. The stomach's juices are secreted and the muscles in the stomach begin to grind up the food to further break it down before moving it along to the small intestine, large intestine, and in and out through the colon and rectum. This whole process should only take about four hours. If you eat three times a day, you should be crapping three times a day and going to sleep with no food waste marinating in your belly and some people don't understand why they can't get proper sleep. I've heard people say that they have not had a bowel movement in a couple of days. Days? What? If this is you, you, you need to go to the doctor because this is a matter of life and death. This is where energy enters the body. It is the center. And if you have this clogged up, you're doing damage. Some people are walking around with over 25 pounds of accumulated crap in their gut. That's about the size of three eight pound babies. And no, it doesn't matter if you're fat or skinny. If you have never completed a colon cleanse, there is more than likely an accumulation of waste that is stuck. This stuff being caked up on the walls of your colon decreases vital energy and nutrient absorption. So you gradually become more fatigued, lethargic, depressed. You may have trouble keeping food down because your body is trying its best to get rid of the last thing you ate through the other end, but it can't. It starts pushing the shit out through the pores of your skin. Now, I am trying to gross you out because I want you all to consider the importance of taking care of this. This is not something you should just think about doing, no matter how healthy and in shape you think you are. If you do not do any other detox, do this one. It is very easy to do and you will be very happy once you've done it. So what is the reason for this buildup? What is causing this irregularity? Well, one of the main reasons is that the food you are eating 
is garbage. Have you noticed bugs don't even want to eat our food anymore? People are taking all these prescription drugs, over-the-counter drugs like aspirin. They take all these multivitamin tablets that your body can't absorb and it just collects. This stuff will make you constipated guaranteed. Most people have candida. This is from antibiotics in the food and the ones you get from your doctor or drugstore. Antibiotics kill bacteria, not viruses. And they kill all bacteria, good and bad. And the only thing left is this candida that is allowed to now spread throughout your entire body, causing a bunch of issues. So, many people don't even have the proper gut flora to digest the food they are eating anyway. Now, of course, keeping yourself hydrated is key, but drinking lots of water does not necessarily mean that your body is absorbing it all. Different water has different energy. Tap water, spring water, filtered water. It can be dead, it can be alive, it can be over-mineralized, it can be distilled. It can be reverse osmosis water, vortex water, magnetically charged water. There are many things you can do to water before you consume it. And it also depends on where the water came from, the source. Nobody really knows what the best water is, but we do know that not all water is absorbed properly by the body. The main factor in all this really comes down to what you are eating and the fact that most people just do not do cleanses on a regular basis. For this type of cleanse, it should be done at least twice a year, for 11 to 14 days. I use what's called super colon cleanse. It's inexpensive, it has a very good shelf life, and it is natural. It contains ingredients such as psyllium husk, fennel seed, papaya leaf, peppermint leaf, buckthorn bark, barberry root, acidophilus. It is basically concentrated fiber. This comes in either a powder or capsule, and it can be taken either once or twice a day. The amount you take is of course dependent upon the brand you select. Understand that when you first take this stuff, it won't kick in for about 6 to 12 hours, maybe more. But when it does, you'll know. So be ready and be home. You will feel it working and it may be very uncomfortable for the first few days. During this protocol, you're cutting things out of your diet, starting with liquids. You only want to drink water or tea. No soft drinks, no milk. Fruit juices and smoothies are okay. Just watch your sugar intake. Now, when it comes to food, if you are a raw foodist, vegetarian or vegan, this is going to be a lot easier for you. Do not eat before bed. You're going to have to move your eating habits to earlier in the day. Do not eat any pork during this protocol. Your body doesn't digest it anyway. Every couple of days you are cutting meat out of your diet, starting with red meat, then in a couple of days poultry then fish. So after the first week, you're left eating a vegetarian diet. Then you cut out dairy, no cheese, no milk. Now there is a very long list of fruits and vegetables that you want to avoid toward the end of the protocol such as bananas and root vegetables. You can eat seeds like hemp, but you will be cutting out grains like bread and rice. And in the last two or three days of the protocol, you want to fast. And this is the hump you have to get over. But it is needed as your body will still be getting rid of waste even after you have stopped eating for a couple of days. If you do this protocol properly for about two weeks straight, some amazing things will happen. First, your stomach goes flat. Your body starts to burn fat more rapidly, causing an increase in muscle definition. In other words, you get ripped, your skin clears up, you no longer get flatulence, and your body absorbs way more of the food's nutrients and water than it did before the cleanse. You will be able to sleep better, 
and your energy levels will skyrocket. Also, if you have certain habits like smoking, your addiction to certain substances such as nicotine drops dramatically. There are many more benefits to cleansing the colon and this is a very simple protocol to administer. If you are serious about detoxifying the body, you can find dozens and dozens of instruction on how to do this correctly. You really have to find the detailed protocol that suits you and your lifestyle because you have to factor in your daily life when doing this. And once you do this, your body will have an easier time detoxifying the other organs, such as the liver, which is next on our list. You're going to add many years to your life learning how to cleanse your body on a regular basis. There is an extremely large number of people dying from colon cancer and other cancers that originate right around that area in your body. These toxins we are consuming folks are pretty dangerous. And you will find that many ailments just go away after cleaning them out. There are madmen out there making products that are intended to load you up with toxins and make you sick. We need to start fighting against this. We need to do this with our dollars. And we need to start showing these companies that we are more interested in investing our money to ensure a long healthy life than we are in spending money to die.